Hey brothers and sisters from the Starknet family, this is Nur Star speaking from the Stark Galaxy and welcome to another episode of Deep Dive, our YouTube video series that explores the Starknet ecosystem through interesting tutorials and project analysis. Today we are going to speak about the Bravos wallet while installing and using it. The Bravos wallet has been my wallet of choice lately and I really like its accessibility and its community-driven approach. But let's start going deep into Bravos, doing a short introduction about this product. The Bravos wallet was launched at the beginning of this current year and it's available for both your browser and your smartphone. In fact, Bravos has been the first StarkNet wallet to launch uh, mobile compatibility support and it can be downloaded uh, and used through both Android and iOS devices. However, now it's time to download our Bravos wallet in our web store and creating a new account. Type a good password if you've not created a StarkNet wallet before, otherwise you could simply import your existing account by using the recovery phrase. In our case, we'll create a new wallet from scratch by typing and confirming the password. After that, we we'll receive the secret recovery phrase that you'll have to keep in a safe place, of course, and you must not share it with anybody. So, copy the secret recovery phrase or write it down and then click on done. At this point, we are asked if you want to create the network in either the testnet or mainnet. We go with the mainnet alpha option. We need to read and approve the disclaimer on the alpha version of the StarkNet mainnet before continuing. And voila, we now have our account which is being deployed. In the meanwhile, we can already choose an on-ramp option to deposit uh, some money. Among the options we have Bansha, a bank on-ramp, LayerSwap, an exchange on-ramp, and then we have the more decentralized options which are the cross-chain bridge orbiter finance on one end and the StarkNet official bridge on the other one. We choose this last option and we get directed to the bridge website. Once there, we'll have to connect uh, both our MetaMask and our Bravos wallet and then proceed by bridging some funds to StarkNet. In our case, we are going to bridge 0.1 ETH, select your amount, click on transfer and then approve the transaction on your MetaMask and wait for it to get through. As the next step, we'll now open the Bravos wallet on the extension tab, where there will be the assets that we previously bridged through the Stargate bridge. Having successfully installed the Bravos wallet, we can now try some of its great features like the swap one. For example, we can turn some of our ETH into 10 USD DAI, a stablecoin pegged to the dollar. Select the desired amount and then click on swap. While we wait for the transaction to get through, we can explore the NFTs section of the Bravos wallet, where we can access some NFT marketplaces like Aspect and Mint Square. Let's make uh, an example by choosing Aspect and you'll be redirected to the Aspect page. At this point, we can buy an NFT on Aspect. Let's pick a random uh, StarkNet monster and buy it with Bravos after connecting it to Aspect. Now we can come back to our Bravos interface where first of all, we we'll swap back our DAI into ETH because uh, I don't want uh, to have uh, highly inflative assets right now, as you can imagine. And uh, after this step, I'd like to show you the nice way how our NFTs will be displayed on the interface. A pretty nice and smooth gallery feeling, right? So guys, this deep dive on Bravos is coming to an end. I hope you liked it and if you've not downloaded the Bravos wallet yet, I'll leave you the right link on the description below. Having said that guys, thanks a lot for watching, please like, subscribe and activate the notification bell for the next Star Galaxy videos. See you next time, bye!